Good afternoon. Peace be with you. May you recognize Jesus in this celebration of the breaking of the bread. Our Mass intention today is for Don and Kitty Brighton. In today's Gospel, we hear how two disciples did not at first recognize Jesus, but after spending time with him, the disciples were filled with joy. Let us pray together the act of adoration for the real presence prayer found on the inside front cover of your missalette. O oh Jesus, I adore your body, blood, soul, and divinity present in the most holy Eucharist, in which the bread of angels becomes my food. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Most loving Father, although now I receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament, hidden from human sight, may I one day see him face to face in glory. Amen. Hymn number 179, At the Lamb's High Feast, number 179. Please stand. At the Lamb's High Priest we sing, Jesus the angel of green as our King. Who has one in the light, floating from hope and sight, praise in those bright as red, give to sacred blood for wine, for the feast, Christ the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, death of born, Israel host triumphant go and oh, is it is to, to him Christ was shed. Ask all victims, we have up from above. Easter triumph, Easter joy, sin alone can this destroy. From sin's power do thou set free, souls newborn, Lord in thee. Hymns of glory, songs of praise, Father, unto Thee we raise. Risen Lord, all praise to Thee, with the Spirit ever be. <clears throat> Good afternoon to everyone, and welcome as the beautiful 50-day season of Easter continues with our Third Sunday of Easter Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of our risen Lord be with each of you. <clears throat> Always coming to our holy mountain, we pause and acknowledge our need for the Lord's mercy, compassion, and forgiveness. And we receive abundantly of the Lord's grace. So pray always to live those virtues. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you pardon and forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, send us your spirit. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, on earth, peace to people of good will. Praise you, bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you. Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, he's on earth, he's to people of good will. children exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of the resurrection in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did, but God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord.
face shine upon us. I know. Hear me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine upon us. reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. His expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and he said to them, peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, why are you troubled? And why do you question, why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see, I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. And then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, a beautiful day. Again, welcome to all. Although I do have a touch of sadness as the Blues missed the playoffs. You don't share that sadness. <laughs> I know there's baseball now, so. Well, our mass intentions are always very dear to us, but today, uh, especially so, the 46th wedding anniversary of a uh, dear Kitty and Don Brighton in the back there. Don, I think, is hiding. But uh, so blessings for them. We'll have a little anniversary blessing. Kitty is always here, our trusty a faithful usher, making sure our 430 Mass each week goes well. So, very special intention. And then a special intention for uh, Dave Robin of our community. Two years ago, we had his funeral Mass here. His wife, Jennifer, is here. Uh, I was reminded he was a teacher for 53 years and 39 years at Oakville High School. So, many of the young people in our area here would know him. 39 years teaching at Oakville High School, soccer coach there, etc. So Jennifer asked us if we would remember him, and we certainly do, on the second anniversary of his passing. Thanks for praying for my sister. I sent her a note that we're praying, especially this weekend, and then on Tuesday, her uh, surgery, that little spot of cancer on her lung, they'll remove that and then I guess decide if there's further treatments necessary. So thanks for praying for my sister. We always pray for one another's intentions, especially families who bury their loved ones. So again, this week, you'll hear those names and we always remember those families. Well, the first reading, uh, it, I guess it reminded me of my favorite description of God. Do you have one? Well, mine is. He always gives another chance. Wow, if we had a time machine, huh? Go ask Peter, Thomas, huh? See, that's our God, willing to give another chance. Huh? Often it says in the scriptures, huh? Slow to anger, quick to forgive. I guess our human nature, huh? Quick to anger, slow to forgive. So God always gives us another chance. So here that reading, Peter is speaking to the Jewish community and rather harsh words, uh, words of, wow, condemnation. You know, you guys are hopeless. I would think someone would have said, we, how can you talk, huh? Remember what you did? So here, so Peter is speaking to the, those Jewish people. You know, well, you handed Jesus over and denied him in Pilate's presence. Ask that a murderer be released instead. The author of life you put to death. So you see, wow, like you guys are hopeless. Huh? Did you hear how it ends though? See, oh, re but repent, be converted, and your sins will be wiped away. I think that's why Peter was speaking kind of boldly, because he had experienced that. So like my favorite description of God, or maybe of my favorite parable. Uh, again, do you have a favorite parable? Well, mine is the gardener and his beloved fig tree. So remember that parable, you know, the, the gardener taking care of the fig trees. The owner comes ready for the fruit, and he calls the gardener over and he says, look here, every year I come and this tree bears no fruit. Cut it down. And what did the gardener say? Whoa, 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 wait, wait. That's my favorite fig tree. Let's give it another chance. So our first reading, certainly Peter experienced that. Obviously at times throughout life, so do we. Then the second reading, it's, Reminding me of those old sayings, right? Talk is cheap. Actions speak louder than words. Oh, you talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? See? So did you hear that phrase? Those who say, I know him, 
but do not keep his commands, well, we all fall short. Huh? Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commands are liars. Ouch. See, wow. So it kind of encourages us. Huh? Well, yeah, we're quick to speak. Huh? Peter, remember at the Last Supper? Huh? Yeah. Well, Lord, even if the others will abandon you, I will not. Well, see. So the example of Peter, too. Yeah. What changed Peter? How did he get to that point in that first reading? Experiencing the forgiveness of Jesus. We know that story uh, three times. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. And also the power of the Holy Spirit. So how does the Easter season conclude? Pentecost, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. This week, Thursday, we have confirmation for our eighth grade. Our two servers here, eighth graders of our parish, PSR, homeschoolers. And uh, so the power of the Holy Spirit, see, is with them. And then the gospel. It's another appearance story. I, I said this at, on Easter Sunday. Sometimes the creed kind of can confuse us, you know. He died on the cross and then rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. And I always think, yeah, well, not quite that fast. Huh? He, he had some things to do. He knew he needed to do something. What did he need to do? appear to the apostles, forgive them. Peace be with you. I think he said it like 35 times, see? Because, yeah, they needed to be reassured. They, they, were, they remembered what they did. What is he going to say to us? See? So, and then it was always hard to recognize him, though, at first. That's how that reading began. So I think you know that story, The Road to Emmaus, huh? And they were, they were, he was walking with them, didn't recognize them. Huh? And then he, he took bread and he broke it. And with that, their eyes were opened and they recognized him. See, some eating. Huh? So here again, see, what did he do? Give me a piece. You got anything to eat? They gave him a piece of fish and he ate it in front of them. See, that's pretty real. See, it must be true. He is alive. It's him, see? Well, we can all, it's hard to recognize, especially, you know, maybe the people that can annoy us, drive us crazy, you know, love God and neighbor. Maybe God is easier, neighbor's a little harder, see? So I wanted to end with that thought about Mother Teresa. Remember how she, you know, the poorest of the poor, wow, for so many years, how did she do it? Well, she always said, oh, it, it's Jesus. You know, it's, it's Jesus who's sick. It's Jesus who's sad and lonely. It's Jesus who's in need. And so she, she did it for Jesus. Of course, it was people, see? She had the ability to recognize and see. So when you come to Holy Communion, yes, yeah, that prayer, huh? May your eyes be opened in the breaking of the bread. Our profession of faith, I believe in the Father, Maker. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, only because for the Father. us men for our salvation he came down from heaven. and by the Holy Spirit one and for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate he suffered death and was buried he rose again on the third day in a
his accordance with the scriptures, he is ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to the living and the dead. Seeds from the Father and the Son. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. And now we petition the Lord for our intentions and the needs of all God's children. that those who were baptized at Easter may grow ever stronger in their faith and be powerful witnesses of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil leaders and lawmakers, that the light and wisdom of Christ illumine their decisions and strengthen them to pursue truth and justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for peace in the world and for the protection of all who risk their lives to defend this peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer from physical, mental, and emotional illnesses, may they never find themselves without your assistance through the work of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died and especially Adele Imhoff, aunt of Jill Vaughn, Margot Moheski, and Joy Hebenstreet, parishioner Mary, Marty Furlick, sister of Bob Hegley, Patrick Klein, son of Barbara Klein. May they live forever in the joy of the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Don and Kitty Brighton. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we offer our petitions with confidence and hope. Trusting in your providential care for us, your children, we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hymn number 167, Two Were Bound for Imanus. Hymn number 167. Have this bread to offer, which the earth is given, so it becomes and the bread of life. Through the mystery of this water and wine, they would share in the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in that humanity. Mm -hmm. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness. 
have this wine too. Fruit of the work of become our spiritual drink. Wash away my weakness, cleanse me of my sin. Proclaimed the bread and the wine. Now we pray to our mighty Father, whose assistance we ask this day and always. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May we accept the sacrifice of the praise and glory of his name for our hands. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness. Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this season above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed through him. The children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all is risen. And therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven are full of your glory. Hosanna, oh Hosanna, in the highest blessing. comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, oh, Hosanna, in my hands. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O oh God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit. Sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, again he gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim death, Lord Until you come again And therefore, Father, 
as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church today by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters in faith and all who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her loving spouse, the Blessed Apostles, the Glorious Martyrs, St. Margaret Mary Alico, and all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> Amen. 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 And let us sing to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father... Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day daily food and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We're the kingdom, power, glory. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now we offer a sign of peace to one another. of the world mercy on us Lamb of God you take of the world mercy on us Lamb of God you take Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, not worthy. 
boldness. May the body of Christ nourish us for life now and forever. Amen. This is Jesus, Emmanuel, God is with us in this sacrament. I know you're hurting, I can see it in your eyes. So pull back the curtain and take off your disguise. Who'd ever told you you ain't worth the fight? The cross tells a story that could change your mind. Cause there's only love in the heart of God. No room for shame in his open arms. There's beauty from ashes, so come as you are. There's only love in the heart of God. Come prodigal children, it's never too late. Run home to the Father, let him clothe you with grace. And bury your burdens, break free from your fear. Step out of the shadows, there's no judgment here. There's only love in the heart of God. No room for shame in his open arms. There's beauty from ashes, so come as you are. There's only love in the heart of God. Ooh, 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 He's not sitting there shaking his head, writing you off, leaving you lost. He's not sitting there shaking his head, wishing he'd never went to that cross. He's not sitting there shaking his head, writing you off, leaving you lost. He's not sitting there shaking his head. He went to that cross. He went to that cross. Because he loves you so much. There's only love in the heart of God. No room for shame in his open arms. Your beauty from ashes, so come as you are. There's only love in the heart of God. There's only love. God, no room for shame in its open arms. There's beauty from ashes, so come as you are, because there's only love in the heart of God, because there's only love 
in the heart of God. Next communion song is 355 in the breaking of the bread, number 355. to invite Kitty and Don to come forward for an anniversary blessing. Welcome. They were telling me, married at St. Andrews a couple of years ago, 46. Two children, two grandchildren. Bless your family. And Kitty's great-grandfather was there, kind of had paid for the etching and the, the gold leafing in the church. Your great-grandfather. Wow. Of course, I can't resist that Don said it was the scene of the crime. <laughs> Sorry, I love that. <laughs> A sense of humor got you to 46. Lord our God. We bless and praise your name, for in the beginning you created man and woman in your own image and likeness, so that they might enter a communion of life and love, and you likewise blessed the union of Don and Kitty Brighton 46 years ago, so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and struggles of life, you have preserved their holy union. Renew their marriage covenant. Increase your love in them. Strengthen their bond of unity and peace, so that, surrounded by family and friends and our parish family. They may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may not want to kiss your husband. Huh? God bless you. Still smiling. That's great. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your children, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The parish office is currently working on a new guidebook and the phone directory. Please see the bulletin for specifics regarding this and updating any changed information. Very good. And just to let you know, our uh, annual grade school musical is really going very well. So it's just terrific. Over 60 
children, uh, homeschoolers, etc. Uh, we better bless the three directors. Uh, they put a lot of time in it, but it's going very well. So if you're looking for something to do, come on by the gym this evening. It's uh, very entertaining. God bless them. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God now bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So our Mass is ended. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Hymn number 566, Lift Up Your Hearts, number 566. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. His love is in mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord. His love is enduring. Sing out your joy with the Lord, all you land. Praise the green of the name. The one deeds of the Lord. Glorious his name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. His love is enduring. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Let the earth worship, singing your praise. Praise the glory of His name. Come and see deeds of the Lord. Lord's holy name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God for His mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord. His love is enduring. Sing out your joy to the Lord. His love is enduring. Sing out your joy to the Lord. His love is enduring.